blow off the conference call. I don't understand the choice here. Good morning, everyone. We're going to do lots of fun stuff today, Tony. We're, we're unboxing. I'm trying to figure out my chat bot. It, it just, uh, every 30 days, you have to reset the, the Twitch token connection. <clears throat> so if you'll see me staring off into the, into the ether over here to the, on the screen, that's what I'm doing right now. But it's, uh, it's being a pain in the badonkus. So yeah, raise your hand if you, uh, if you vote, Tony should, uh, blow off the conference call. All right. Vote passes. Come on, chatbot. How's everyone doing this morning? Y'all doing okay? Y'all, do we have any... Oh, they're connected finally. The boop. Thanks for the Twitch Prime. You're awesome. There we go. We are up and running accordingly. Any uh, schmevelin? Thanks for the Twitch Prime. You're awesome. I see we got sounds back, but no alerts. This is par for the course around these around these here parts. What's not par for the course is our quarantine situation. Do we have any new quarantiners with us this morning? Any any new work from homers? Any new quarantines out there? We're starting to get in my area of Georgia some. Uh, we're not totally. Um, what's it called? Staying in place. <clears throat> Um, but we're, we're pretty much there, essentially there. So, um, this is one of the, ha the times where living in the countries is paying off a little bit. Like I don't see anyone for days at a time. This is the only time I've left the house other than to go to the post office in like a week or more working from home. Nice, nice, nice. So yeah, working from home is a, an interesting, an interesting topic of its own for people who don't do it frequently. We talk about that some, but I have, uh. I have an unboxing we're going to get to here pretty soon, but what else do you want to guys want to talk about and gals? I, uh, I'm not going to have any extra long streams today, this, today or this week, so Tuesday and Thursday will be normalish streams. I have gobs of writing to do this afternoon. Thursday, I have a uh, 1 o'clock interview uh, for the Friends of the Show podcast, so no extra streams today. I'm going to try to get them in there somewhere because... I, the the Animal Crossing addiction is real, so we'll probably play some Animal Crossing. That seems to be a good stream game. I gotta figure the, I gotta figure out the stream setup, the Switch stream setup, so that'll take some time on my my part. Um, Thunder Viking work school from home is weird. Urban been doing it for a year. Gumbo Man Pat, stay at home order. Yeah, so it's like it's not different for me. Like my day to day, you know has not changed um so i was uniquely prepared for this but i it's definitely like taken away like any options i have the kids are at home trying to figure out the school school situation like my daughter was having frustrations this morning um as i was leaving the house my wife was working on her so my wife is off today so no kids over here today <clears throat> oh that's right jackie's uh jackie's computers got hijacked by the bitcoiners good morning kimmy Thanks for the for the uh, the pronunciation shout out. That was a dope that was a dope email. I got Kimmy's voice in my email, so y'all should all be jealous. Soothing tones of Marishihu Magenta. <laughs> yeah, Jerrica. It's funny when you hear people. It's like you know I've been doing this for a while, right? It's like what's the problem here? <laughs> So the one, the one thing work, the one work from home thing that took me, I don't know, probably a year worth of force frustrations, maybe even more is like, I literally had to avoid house chores during the daytime when I was working. Like I wouldn't do any house chores till after 5 PM. That's when I'd start laundry or do dishes or anything like that. I couldn't, I would, it was not worth my time to do it during the day. I would stop or I'd start something and then forget it. Or I would just forget to even start it sometimes, or I would spend all the time doing it and not doing the work I needed to do. So I just had like moratorium, like housework, um, f after 5 PM. Yeah. House chores at stand break. That's a good call. Like when it's, when it's, uh, scheduled in there, that's a good call. I never scheduled it in there. I wasn't, I'm not as smart as Jerrica. That's, that's a fact. 
Um, yeah, laundry was is the big thing because my wife would be like, "Can you do can you do the darks today or can you do the kids' clothes today?" I'm like, "Yeah." And it's like, "Did you do it yet?" It's like, "No, I'm not going to do it till tonight." Then like, it'll all get done. I'm going to do it, but just at 10 a.m. is not when it's going to happen. Vacuum in the late afternoon so you can see all the dust. <clears throat> yeah. So it's those fun little tricks. Trying to do much housework while working is is always like a, a pain. It was, it was a pain point for me. It was just like I would just like breakfast dishes and lunch dishes. They would just sit there until I was done for the day. Like I could take the time to take a break and eat. But I wouldn't take more time to clean. I would just go back to work knowing that before dinner, I'll start just cleaning everything and then be done with it, you know, like in 30 minutes total. Laundry is muffling all these conference calls. <laughs> That's the other thing is like the partners at home now. Yeah, I like this shirt. Skulls and fishes and uh, fishes. I don't know which fingers to move in this camera. Fishes and dragonflies and roses. It's a dope shirt. I like this shirt. Thank you for noticing. It's a it's a stealth it's a stealth uh, stealth skull shirt. Brad, check your mic audio is scratchy. Anyone else having trouble? Um, I'm using my old Yeti mic, so this thing's very very old. It, it could be I'm either blowing it out. It could be that it's uh, on the fritz, which this will be like Yetis do go bad after a certain amount of time. Like I blew out my uh, my old one. Um that I was podcasting with. Husband is always on Zoom. Yeah, so the the permanent connections that we're having to deal with other people at the house, partners or, or kids, students, things. Um, yeah, who knows? I could have hit some buttons. Y'all definitely tell me if it changes, if it's a little bit better, better or worse as we go. I'll keep uh, manipulating it. Um, I've turned it down and turned down the gain a little bit, so we'll see. Um, it could just be my pollen voice, but yeah, the challenges of the background, the background noise, the background, you know, husband walking around your conference call in his pajamas is like, Hey honey, it's like on a call over here, but you know, Bob says hi. So a little bit better. You could tell that I made a change and it worked. So that's good. But yeah, I haven't had, um, Hey, happy Tuesday, Miss G's. Um, I haven't had much new stationary stuff to share recently. Just everyone's like kind of behind, like all the retailers I work with. You know, I'm not pestering them for stuff. I'm not buying as much stuff. Um, I'm trying to let them deal with their own crises, um, you know, in running their businesses. So I did order some things from Jet Pens and Van S Pens, and then I got in my Studio Neat Pen. So we're going to unbox all that stuff today. So it should be a good group of stuff. This is all stuff that I picked out from their sites and just bought. Um, I do have some coupon discounts that I get from them when I order stuff like this. This is a lovely room. Um, it's not my room. So this is Studio B at my in-law's house. This is their bonus room. So eventually one day I'll get to move this to my house and set it up my way. But uh, until then, we'll have to deal with this lovely room. Like, it's, it's, it's no pressure to deal with this at all. It's very nice and comfortable, and it's a great setup for me. I just have to drive to it, which is only 10 minutes, 12 minutes. So it's pretty easy, pretty convenient. That's why finally deciding to make a schedule to do these streams was, was the key in this whole event. So just to make myself to say that, hey, at 10 o'clock on Tuesdays and Thursdays, I'm here. And uh, ever since I committed to that, it's been easy. So it was the non-commitment that I could talk myself out of. I was like, oh, should I stream today? I got like, I have all this writing to do, but I can do it when I get home instead of, oh, and this is like, oh, I don't need to drive over there. I'll just do it now. So yeah, committing to that schedule was, was good. Any recommendations for doing live stuff with our local pin groups, FB Live or YouTube? Um, most people are using Zoom or Google Hangouts that I've heard so far. Zoom seems to be pretty popular for, uh, I know the, the San Francisco pin posse is using Zoom. Um, so, and then I know some people were trying Google Hangouts, but I don't know. I just bought a Tom Ben backpack right before the shutdown. Oh, well, just lo load it up at home and just carry it around the house. Break it in. That's what you need. Walk from room to room with your backpack on. So Zoom seems to be 
the thing for group related chats right now so they get uh the funny thing is my kid's school is using it too can you imagine a bunch of sixth graders in the math class zoom like what that looks like i mean i'm sure it just looks like like a zoo like can those sixth graders aren't going to be sitting still they're going to be looking at their buddy over here making faces or you know whatever the they're doing in there i walked in there and there was a kid in the camera like this he was like tilting his head over to like sideways and stuff seeing how they could do it i was like is this a great idea but the, our kids love it they um they love getting to chat with their teachers and they love seeing their friends because they're not getting to see their friends right now like that's my daughter was like texting all of her friends it's like okay everyone say what you miss the most and they were all missing their friends they just miss getting out and you know seeing each other and, and hanging out and you know my daughter's just like chomping at the bit uh to get back to school my son he just like crushes the school work on the computer he's like yeah i'm good with this we can just stay home i can i can knock out all the school work and then i can play fortnite or whatever so he doesn't <laughs> he's socializing via fortnite my daughter's having a tougher time not being able to socialize in person yeah they the kids are loving the zoom so i haven't used it yet so i imagine it's pretty cool yeah knitting groups on zoom all of, all of them people just need like this type of interaction that's why i'm trying to do this like even though like we're not talking back directly like voice and other video in there we can we can at least have a chat conversation so um there goes the garage local elementary school is going to do a parade like on zoom like everyone dresses up that could be pretty cool All right, we could do Zoom. They're setting them up in the um, in the pin attic Slack. Go to pin shows. I'm not going to set up a Zoom on stream, um, but we could do it somewhere differently. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I could do one on one Zooms. We're going to talk Thursday anyway, right, Andrew? We're going to do an interview. But yeah, um, but yeah, I can set up Zooms all the time we should just do that <clears throat> so yeah if you're in the pin attic slack or want to be in the pin attic slack head over to the pin shows channel and people are setting up zooms to just like hang out with pin friends it's really great all voice chats let you do random stuff and pretending instead of pretending you're paying attention totally totally yeah andrew like this could be like a total interview brad session if you wanted it to be i mean i have plenty of questions for you obviously but you could uh you could uh turn the tables on me all right let's get started what do you think <clears throat> we're gonna go uh hey, zoom is for school hey is that tyler elizabeth or mary beth we have we have a dowdy appearance in here i was i was bragging on how how good the kids are doing with zoom all right so First package is it's the Studio Neat Mark I Apollo Edition. What you'll notice, these are starting to ship if you're a Kickstarter backer. Um, I would like to point out that I did not get, it's, it's me, Elizabeth. It's -a me, Elizabeth. I, um, I did not get special shipping this time. I, however, did get special post-it note message. It says, thanks, Brad. Stay safe, Dan and Tom. So thank you, Dan and Tom. I appreciate you. So we have the Studio Neat Apollo Edition, which y'all know I'm a fan of the Mark I pen. That ear Zoom makes me think about the old TV show. God, I forgot about that. Yeah, we're like the same. We're of the same era. I totally forgot about that. No wonder that was kind of sounding familiar. All right, so I backed this project. Um, I like the Mark One. I, I like the, what was it, aluminum barrel, Cerakote finish. So they did a stainless steel one. I will say, as much as I didn't like the packaging the first time, this one's a little bit nicer. This kind of black, it's the same cork, uh, same cork packaging, but it's like dyed black. It's got the logo in it. It feels nicer. It's still like, it's still just like a, a shell or like a case there's no no hinge or anything on it which 
you know, it's made to be like a, a pen rest. Man, this thing's dark. This looks awesome. So, going to be hard to see how cool this looks. Ooh, that feels good. Check that out. Solid. Um, it's got the Apollo lander right up there. You can't really say see it. Um, this thing. I wonder if this is going to be a fingerprint magnet. I don't know. Um, I don't care. <laughs> it's really cool. The uh, transition right here at the nose cone. Great job, Tom and Dan. Um, I don't back everything, right? I don't want to back everything. And even though my, they're my friends, it's like sometimes I don't. Like I just I can't back everything. This one I almost didn't back. I was like, I like my Mark One. I. I don't need another one. But you know how much I talk about stainless steel pens. And I just knew I had to get this one. Plus this one has the Fisher Space Pen refill, I think, right? I think this is space pen refill, which means it'll pit the fit pit the it'll fit like Parker style, which I think the the Schmidt one will fit it too. But um This is really pretty. Great job by them. I'll get home and take some pictures. I'll have to like uh I'll have to like cloth polish it. I, I'm sure this is gonna show fingerprints. Um I don't know, maybe not, but whatever the case, the knock matches, right? So it's the same same finish on the knock. Whoops. Hang on, let me take this call real quick. All right, sorry, I was expecting that. Give me one sec. I'll have to check uh, Steven's Instagram because yeah, this is gonna this is gonna photograph like a champ. I'll do my note today. I'll do my note card with it today, and see. I gotta see what uh, refill this is. This looks like medium black, uh, Fisher. Like, look at that. The whole finish is is the same. So it's the Fisher with the end cap pieces, and this is, yeah, medium black. I think I might keep Fisher in here, but go with fine blue. That might be the difference. The TI mini pen, I have not seen it in person. So yeah. Um, this feels like a big jump from the initial one which i love so much this is definitely worth the premium price it feels very different than the standard one so i will have to i'll do some comparisons um yeah very very happy very pleased with this really really nice <clears throat> so i will uh i will be sure to let those guys know let me see what the um yeah, I back that one. I back that one as well. Yeah, they look pretty small. Like they look like Kaveco Lily put small. I backed it. I don't have a prototype. I can't. I talked to Chadwick after they launched it, and I can't remember if he said he was going to send me some or not. So it must not be, um, because he doesn't live far from me. I would have seen it by now. I think because it's almost done, right? So. Let's see, replace the refill. Here's how to do it. Here's the desk tray. So this is PVD coated and polished. Man. Yeah. I don't uh, disagree with that assessment, Thunder Viking. It looks very small. It looks like Kaveco ballpoint small, which I can deal with. I like that size. Um, but it's tiny. It's really, really tiny. Um, yeah, it's borderline too tiny, but it still works for me. And I think this is, I think this is going to fall into that uh, category as well. Um, all right. So let's go. I, I don't know which box is which. So we're going to, I have two here. So this one is from jet pens. So let's open this one. So we have a big old envelope. It's done, they're in fulfillment, now it's supposed to ship in July. Okay, 
Gotcha, Sam. I I have it. I have a hard time keeping up with Kickstarter dates, even my own projects. Right. I think the the pin addict one has about twelve days left or so. I'm gonna cut myself totally. All right. So this is an order from Jet Pins. Um, and this is stuff I just ordered off the site. This isn't any pre-order stuff. I'm going to do that. Um, I got the email from Jet Pens for April. So I'm going to do April. Yeah, this is stuff I picked up myself. So it may be new. It may. I usually go through the new. Um, sorry, this is going to be loud for a second. I usually go through the new arrivals and pick out stuff. Let's see if I got a Jet Pens cartoon. All right, we got a Jet Pens cartoon. It says, For in that sleep of death, what dreams may come when we have shuffled off this mortal coil. Oh, this is morbid. Good timing. Must give us pause the respect that makes calamity of so long life. Thou knowest tis common that all lives must die passing through nature to eternity. What happened to Lionel? Paper cut. It bled a little. So... That's, he's given the speech. What's that speech from? Um, he got a paper cut, and he's about to die. So rip rip that guy in his paper cut. It's hard to not spend money uh, on stationery. It's great stress relief. Hamlet, see, I'm not, I'm not very learned that way. So, yeah, so the guy playing Hamlet got a paper cut. So he was, uh, he was off to the races. Um, I'm going to do a not coupon this afternoon. So is it the to be or not to be speech? Okay, cool. See, I'm not... It's like, okay, cool. I don't know that offhand. I'm going to do a not coupon this afternoon. We'll do 20%, 25% off all orders. Um, just something. That's where I came up with the, sh the stream title for today. That's going to be the coupon code. Don't go try it now because that's not active. Um, but I will send it out this afternoon. We'll do 20% off, 25% off all not stuff. It's like, let's talk about this second. That's a hard balance for me, right? Like I spoke, Jet Pins is still shipping, but hold that thought. Um, I'll come right back to it because it kind of relates to what I'm going to talk about with knock right now. So y'all heard me on the podcast saying like, it's a, it's a dilemma, right? As like buying stuff is one thing, asking people to buy stuff is a separate thing and like dealing with, and those two things like in the specter of the unknown that we're dealing with. And like, I'm having a hard time like saying, come buy stuff, Right when like i said on the podcast like some people don't know where their next paycheck's coming from you know i have emails in my inbox of people getting laid off and i was like well i'm a let's put out a coupon for knock and it's like i'm having a hard time with that it's like i don't know i understand all the the different ramifications but that doesn't mean that i'm like like these are easy easy things i'm thinking about but then i go out and buy stuff like yes i got a discount on my jet pins order but i still I placed like three orders last week, um, one Jet Pens, one Van S, and then one from my friend uh, Tanya Tiziana, who's an artist um, that I follow on Instagram um, and Twitter. So when her stuff comes in, it's coming from Canada. I bought her zines. We're going to share that on the stream uh, next week. Hopefully it'll be in this week. So yeah, I like I think about this stuff like, I don't know, I try to think about this stuff. You know, I try to be considerate and and then at the same time I also have like business to run, but like, you know, you know, you may not have a job tomorrow. It's like it's this weird thing going on right now. So I'm trying to handle it the best I can. So the best one of the best things to do is to talk about it. Like, you know, we can just figure out this stuff. Um yeah, like Jerrica mentioned, I'm privileged enough to where like my work situation doesn't change and my wife's work situation didn't change, right? She's a pharmacist. Like we're both completely employed right now based on that. And that's just flat out luck right now, right? <clears throat> so like I'm continuing to shop, right? I'm buying things, but I also run businesses that require other people to shop. So do I try to incentivize them to spend money that they shouldn't be spending? Like, these are the things that keep me up at night. It's like, man, I'm trying to figure it out. But I think we can do, like, a coupon for knock is, like, pretty good, right? Like, I think that's a reasonable ask. Yeah, I think a lot of people are giving discounts. And, like, we need this stress relief, like Tolliver's saying. Um, so, yeah, like, Sam, that's a great point. That's a great consideration. 
is like, you can do this now, but make sure you do it when everything's cool too. Super fair point. I like that. Really good point. So, <clears throat> yeah, you know, everyone's situation is different. So just trying to figure this out. It's, it's definitely weird. Definitely weird. Um, but hey, look for that coupon today in your email as I hold up a knife. Like, I'm going to cut you if you don't come order. No, I don't, I don't care if you order or not. Only order if you can. Or if you want to. Don't order stuff you don't need. That's all it is. Please don't order stuff you don't need. Like me. Like, I order stuff you don't need. How is dis. Oh. <laughs> boop, uh, boop misspelled diso cunt. Uh, discount boop you misspelled discount and you got auto modded because you can't spell so way to go um, yeah, any new knock things up I'm gonna put the rest of the black sapelos I had in Baltimore I was saving them for Atlanta so um, I'm gonna put those up I only got about 40 left 40 or 50 I can't remember how many I saved for Atlanta it was like 40 or 50 and I've got people asking me about them what's up Mike um so I'll, I'll put those up and that's it the XL Sapelo in Raven and Steel I am super thirsty this morning chat all right I was excited about this just hey Mike other Mike Mike and Mike in the morning all right let me get this all of this bubble wrap off so I can stop making noise. <clears throat> Nanda. Uh, all right. All right. One of the things that I missed getting early access to because Jet. Oh, Beth, let me go back to the Jet Streams thing. I got an email from them yesterday. Um, th they can only take it day by day right now. Right now, they are um, shipping staff only rotating the staff in the warehouse so that not all of them are there and the, the few that come in are practicing social distancing like they're basically in their patterns to where they're not around each other during the, the picking and packing process <clears throat> they don't know how long they're going to be able to do that they don't know how long they're going to be able to keep that up i got an email from them to uh last night that i just read this morning so they basically it boils down to they don't know they can't promise anything right now um, and that's where they're at. <clears throat> so, um, that's the latest I have from them as of last night. So I'm sure they'll, I'm sure they'll have a newsletter out this week and we'll update. All right. So one of the things, since we didn't do a March box from jet pen, since that was about the time all this stuff was going on, I just went and ordered things. I'm so excited about what I'm about to show y'all. When I saw this, that I missed this when it, uh, when it dropped Mike Henley thanks for the twitch prime you're the best and I have to turn off the alerts because they're broke all right when I saw this had hit the new arrivals section of jet pins I was like I can't believe I missed this because I've been wanting this man I may never get this unboxed what kind of stupid contraption is this box so this is the new Jetstream Edge. Let's see if I can get this in the not blown out color. This is the new fancy Jetstream. That's a 0.28 millimeter. Ananda, thanks for the sub. This is a 0.28 millimeter Jetstream, which is going to be crazy. So yesterday's Instagram post I wrote with a 0.7 millimeter Jetstream. I ordered two of these just so you know. <laughs> I don't have a problem. Sorted the black one and the white one. I'll probably give one away. I think I, I'm going to keep the white one for myself. Is this a plastic body? Yes. But the grip is not. The grip is metal. Uh, let's see if there's anything I can read on here. Nope. It's all in Japanese. It's a .28. Yeah, it's a very safari tricked out clip. It's pretty wild. Um, let's open this up. So it's a 0.28 millimeter refill. And this is one of the things that concerned me a little bit about this pen. Look at that refill. It's like a glorified D1, right? This is a very expensive pen. Like, I don't, can you, 
can you picture the size of this pen, this refill, or do you need like a comparison for it? I'm a little concerned that they chose this teeny tiny refill, even though it's a ballpoint ink and it's 0.28 millimeters. So theoretically, it should be long lasting. It's just a weird aesthetic, right? Like I have this big old pen, and it's basically almost like, is it a double double length D1 refill? maybe like but i'm just going to enjoy the pen for what it is and the 0.28 millimeter writing like i don't even know if it's worth writing this to show y'all oh my god this is so good y'all like you're not going to be able to see this at all It's right there in the middle. Not that, ignore the top part. I just had this scratch piece of paper, but that's a five millimeter grid. I can do like half of the, I can do half the grid in there easily. Um, so yeah, the, the refill just seems like bad math to me. Like I don't understand that. I don't get that process. Um, so the black one is solid black. It's got the chrome clip. Um, so I'll keep one of these. I'll give one of these away. It's gonna be hard to decide. I opened up the white one because I thought that might be the one I keep. What I really need is now I need blue refills for these. <laughs> Since I'm probably gonna have to buy a refill anyway, if I use this a lot, I would like to have a blue refill for that. But yeah, and how much are these? They're not cheap at all, like for the refill for the cost of the reef. Let's just put this one right here. So I'll, I'll, I'm going to commit to the white one. Boom. White one's mine. Black one will give away maybe next week or sometime soon. I'm giving away the Lamy All-Star and Tourmaline. <clears throat> so are they going to make the Parker style jet stream refill in blue anytime soon? Yes. I'm almost certain it exists. I don't know that it's made it over here yet. Someone I'll have to double check me on that. I think it, it's starting to be a thing. So we'll just have to see if and when they make it over. So don't hold me to that, but I have a feeling I think that's the case. So, yeah. Let me see how much these are real quick. This one's not pointy, but it is... Like, it writes probably like a 0.15 millimeter line. Like, it'll be finer than the gel ink pens, right? Because there's no spread in this oil-based ink. Let me see how much these are. Because they're not... Uh... Yeah, those Dymine ink vent. We'll talk about that on the podcast tomorrow. I like those bottles. I figured they would eventually reach the, release those. So, this Jetstream is $15 at Jet Pens. And it fits some of the, you know what it looks like this fits? It looks like it fits some of the multi-pin refills in this barrel. But there's no 0.28 millimeter black. Yeah, I will totally buy one of those diamond ink vent inks just for the barrel. Oh, just for the barrel, just for the bottle. Um, I also ordered the Pilot Acroball Multipin. I wonder why they're called the Blue Edition. Is that Diamine? Is that whole edition called the Blue Edition now? So this is the Acroball Multipin, which I like it just as almost equally as nice as the... Uh, um, Jetstream, Diamond Ink Vent Blue Edition. Yeah, I'm guessing because the packaging was blue. I don't know. So this is a neat color. This is like a lilac purple. It's hard to hard to see on the stream. Can't see it. Looks white. It's lilac. Trust me on that. Um, no, oh, thought I was losing stuff already. All right, <clears throat> next up. I got the Noodler's Triple Tail. Have you all heard about this one? So I normally don't get along well with Noodler's pens. And I don't think that's a 
abnormal statement. But I got to try this out at Baltimore. I forget who had it in Baltimore. So this is a bigger, like double tine, double slit music nib kind of thing. I call it a triple tail because it ends up having three, three tines. Um, when I wrote with it at the Baltimore Pen Show, I was impressed. So I ordered one. I'm gonna send this to Susan to review, um, since she's so good with like the music nibs. I don't think does this one smell. It smells a little bit like poop. Doesn't smell like chemicals. It smells poopy. <laughs> um. So yeah, you'll have to just. Um, I'll send this to Susan. She's really good with the flex nibs and we'll see see what she can do with it see what she thinks about it the pen feels good um it's a little bit more solid than some of their other ones so we'll see that's one i definitely got to send out for someone else to review so that'll be heading to susan's susan's stash and it's got a big fish here here's a fish can i catch that one in animal crossing we'll talk about animal crossing later I'm going to try to set that up to stream. All right. So I at least think that this has a chance of being a noodler pen that we can recommend. But that's just based off a very quick test. But my initial thoughts were, oh, this is way better than some of the other things that they've made. Like it feels, it smells like puke, then maybe it's like that. But it's pretty light. You can't smell it unless you like really get in there. <laughs> So wouldn't recommend it. So we'll see. That's the thing. We've never recommended any of the other ones. Um, I thought this was interesting enough. We're going to try it out and we'll see. You know, Susan's pretty critical in her reviews. She'll just like straight up tell you like if it's no good or good. So I appreciate that. Uh, Twisby Eco F in yellow. Do I need to open this one up? Y'all know what this is. Um, I say, do I need to go open it up? Because I'll probably give it away. So I don't want to necessarily open it up but how cool is the color the school bus school bus yellow eco definitely digging that so i got this from kaveco and i have no clue what it is and i am the one who ordered it any guesses oh i bet this is the is this the new student colors is this like the blue one of the new student colors maybe something like that i bet that's what this is yep that's what it is so what's the blue one called Rock and roll. The name of it's not on here. It's not on the little label guy either. It's the student fountain pen, but what's the name of this one? It's really nice. These are great pens. I'm very, very happy with these pens. Oops. Hang on one sec. Okay, sorry. Yeah. Rock. 50s rock. I was close. Rock and roll. Um they did just did a good job job with the design of these. Good morning, Sandra. They did a very good job on these. So I'll be sending this off for review too. Um Sarah might get this one. Or Jeff. I have to see who did the last one. Susan might have done the last one. So I'll probably get Sarah to do this one, maybe. So I don't know. The Twisby Eco will probably just give away because we don't need to. I try not to review every color because I don't have that many other things to say. But if we do have different uh, opinions between the review crew, we will double up on the reviews sometimes. And, you know, have uh, break it down, do different things. I still think the soul's the best and not just because I'm partial to orange, but if they do a purple one in the same range of shades, I think the purple one might beat the orange, but the green and blue are awfully nice. But if they come out with purple in that same kind of muted color range, I think we're in mega business there. Mega business. That's what Tom Nook is really running. Mega business. I think Tom Tom Nook is a snake. Number one, he stole my company name. I mean, he might as well just call it Tom Knock at this point. 
sorry, I'm digressing. My brain's in Animal Crossing. All right, this last one I brought, I bought from Jet Pens. This is who makes this Mimo Terrier. So it's this, yeah. Oh, Cami Terrier. So it's a it's a memo pad. Wow, that's bright. It's a memo pad of a whole range of pink sheets. Right. So this is like at least ten different shades of pink sheets. I'll probably review this one because I think it's pretty neat. So it's like a desk pad. Um, let's see if I can. I know, man. It's a it's Tom Nook. He's a snake. I'm telling you. Can we capture snakes? Because if so, I'm going to get Tom Nook. Tom Nook. So funny story. Have I told you all this story? I probably have. So Jimmy Dole of the Atlanta Pen Show um, um, promoter. He's called, for as long as he's known me, he's called Nock Nook. And he calls me Nook and Jeff Nook a lot. Hey, what's up, Nook? And that's his big joke. And turns out there is a company called uh, Nook now. Let's see. If, so can you all see these colors now? That's a little bit better. So this is a desk pad. Oh, I love pink. I mean, my sh undershirt's pink. like I. So I'm going to keep this one for myself. So there was like four or five different color palettes here for these i think so so yeah mr jimmy as my kids call him uh he calls he calls us nook so tom nook and animal crossing uh i'm coming for you buddy me and you we're gonna go out back he's a trash panda mm. so yeah this looks cool i'm a, that one's gonna be for me um which means i gotta send something to jeff out of this batch I don't know. We'll see. Oh, maybe something in this other batch. Okay, so that's everything I got from Jet Pens. This I just went through the um, the new products feed and picked some stuff out for myself. I have April's preview products in my email inbox, so I'll pick some stuff out. So we'll probably and but like I said, re rewinding back, um, I don't know what the shipping status is going to be for any of this stuff. So you just never know. Uh, video freeze for anyone. Um, I'm looking good on my side right now. So y'all let me know if you see any problems. I have no no drop frames over here. All right, so that's the jet pens box. Mini box, if you will. I'm excited to use this little pen guy. Little pen bud bud guy bud. All right, this one's from Van S. I know one thing I ordered in here. I know one pen I ordered. And then I think the rest is ink. We'll see. One pen and a handful of inks. What knife? This is the Benchmade proper that I keep with me pretty much all the time. It's got a G10. It's a G10 handle. No, it's just kind of that color. Benchmade proper. Uh, Mike wrote me a love note. Um, this was packaged by Mike. It says, thank you, Brad. And there's a smiley face on there. I, I bet y'all don't all get smiley faces from Mike. I got a smiley face from Mike. He's not a very small smiley face guy, so I appreciate that, Mike. Knives, knives, uh, keyboard. What's the, uh, what's the Reddit sub? Mac, Mac pin head? What's the, what's the, it's the mechanical keyboard pin headphones sub. I think it's called mech pin heads, something like that. Okay, so I lied. There is one, two, three, four, five, six bottles of ink and one pin. Mechanical head pins, thank you. So yeah, if you go look at mechanical head pins on Reddit, it's just a, a complete sub of pictures of yeah, the proper is a, just a, it's a classy knife, really. And I like it because it's thin. And I, I, of course, I like the handle. All right, so let me get all this stuff out of the box. So we'll do the inks first and then the pen last. All right, we'll start with these. Um, the standard bindery Australia. 
so ordered these um Venice is so good about getting the inks you know the new ink stuff right so I got stargaze and road trip yeah so when I bought the proper when I bought mine they had the micarta one that I bought for Jeff so Jeff has the same knife with the micarta handle it was too good to like not buy him that one he's more of a knife guy than I am and I knew he'd like that one so this is standard bindery I like these uh, these are basically like medicine bottles like OG prescription bottles 60 mils and this is like looks like a bright green I just picked off the swabs on the site so you know I like my bright greens and then stargaze looks like a blue black but it might be darker than that it might be like dark blue we'll have to chill 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 we'll have to t I don't know what that was trying to be test check I think that was somewhere between test and check it was chill we'll have to tell um, this looks very very dark Luna's tone is my favorite yeah this is a very dark blue so you know I'll link that up first all right so um, again I'm gonna be sending these out to the review crew good morning Jesse do you still have snow on the ground out there levels levels am I too loud am I yelling I'm talking about my levels um, so yeah, these will be reviewing, will be getting reviewed in the future. Um, next one is the, one of the new Kyo no Otos. This is Sakura Nozumi. Looks like a dusty purple. Let's take this one out. Stargaze is pretty much black. Okay. I will try that. Van Demons. I haven't tried that or I haven't heard of that. So this is, looks like a dust, dusty purple, Sakura Nizumi. I don't know that this even helps y'all or helps me. Like if you can see kind of the, the tint and the glass of it. Looks pretty cool though. That's definitely a me color. We'll try that out. Do the standard bindery inks have any properties? They just normal inks, like a normal diamine, or they they have any kind of uh, permanence, waterproofness properties, anything like that? Uh, I have no idea what this is. Oh, okay. So this was a Kobe lapis lazuli blue deep tranquility. There was something special about this. Seventieth anniversary Nolte. I don't know what Nolte is. Need to swatch them on my arm like makeup artists? That's not a bad idea, except I have lots of paper here. I could just use that. <laughs> but I didn't bring anything to, to swatch them with, and my knife's dirty. I don't want to stick my knife in there. I don't have anything to clean clean with. Dr. Haggis Pants. That's a dope name. You must be a dope person. So this has a... Is this a, a expiration date? 11-19-25? Uh, it's like they're saying this ink will last me five years. And I, it's not focusing in on it. So this is some kind of anniversary blue ink from Kobe. It's like a basic blue, but it looked like it was a little bit lighter. I mean, brighter, uh, a little bit more saturated. It looked like a neat blue to test out. Um, so yeah, probably standardish blue. How's it going with the kids' school? Generally pretty good. When I was leaving today, Elizabeth was having some tough time with some math, but my wife was working with her on it, so... Um, she was like math is a little bit tough if you don't try to um, to also keep do it handwritten while you're trying to do it on the computer right so she was just take taking the um, what was on the computer and saying I don't get it and we're like well let's get out a notebook and a piece of paper and try to write this down and try to understand it a little better it's like they, they don't make that connection it's like well it's here on the computer I'm gonna do the work on the computer they're not like let me use all these other tools to try to figure out what the screen's trying to explain to me, right? She just wants to come up with the answer based on the screen. And it's, we're just having those conversations is new. So trying to figure that out. And uh, so um, Elizabeth, if you're still on, did you ever get your math solved? She was watching a minute ago. So she either gave up or solved it. Um, I ordered this one blind. 
not knowing what color it would be. So this is Robert Oster sushi. They didn't have the swab up and I didn't go, I didn't go look it up. Um, but it looks like a cool pink, maybe like a salmon sushi. So I just ordered it for the name and didn't see the color, but it's going to be pretty cool. We'll see it. We'll give it a, we'll give it a try. That could be a good Susan ink pairing with the triple tail Fox noodlers. Let's see what that looks like. Lay down some heavy ink. Um, last one I got was the Aurora. I bought the, I got the orange anniversary ink. So this is funny. Is this like a, a is this like a seal? It's, it's like a tamper proof seal they have on their boxes now because they're so limited. We have to, we have to make sure you, they are not been tampered with, right? Is that what this is? Interesting. I'm going to tamper with it. We'll be all right, right? world's not going to end if I tamper. I am trying not to rip the box. That wouldn't be cool. Um, very pretty. I like their, like, this is like an old Pelican bottle, right? But I like it. I like the, the, uh, yeah, the bottle condom. We have a bottle condom. Safe shipping practices right here, chat. Practice safe ink shipping. So, yeah, that's a lot. Um, so, yeah, the Kobe ink name is uh, Lapis Lazuli Blue Deep Tranquility. It's in conjunction 70th Anniversary Nolte. I don't know what Nolte is, but it's just a basic blue with a little bit bright. So the orange is the Aurora Limited Edition. I wasn't going to buy the whole set because I thought the colors were pretty basic. So I just went with the orange. Obviously, it seems like the right call for me. Um, so we'll try that out and see. <coughs> they, they they seem a little expensive for like not super special. But whatever. We'll give it a try and see. Bottle's pretty cool. And that Aurora is like etched in there. You can feel it. Um... So yeah, we'll be reviewing these coming up soon. I'll have to figure out who gets what. We'll send these all over. Use a broader nib for the orange was too pale in your fine nib. Okay, that's a good tip. The red is great. I just never have any use for red. I find I found the one red that I like, and that's was it uh it's Robert Oster. Is it red candy? It's a little bit darker and deeper. Oh, the Ackerman bottles are the best. So I bought a blue Elmo 01 blue fountain pen, Gentian, um, Monte Grappa. This was a really, I didn't see this pen before, but when I went on their site and I was looking around, this pen is super loud, which I'm all about. Maybe the sushi ink goes in this pen. Yeah, this is a cool color. Getting a Nebulosa eventually, so a bottle of Aurora Purple would make sense. Nice. Robert Oster Red Candy. That's a, I, as someone who doesn't use red, that's a red I ac actively want to use. So it's pretty cool. Very happy with it. This looks like one of those uh, Retro 51 fish pens or like a Leonardo. Like it's really cool. So yeah, Monte Grappa Elmo in, I don't know, are they calling this Blue Gentian? Is that the name? The, uh, the, the color is kind of late the labels over the color here but it's a really neat blue um, really pretty pen I like Monte Grappa's shape of their pens the size and feel of them fits my hand really well this is like the two-tailed fox but more the standard edition um, really really pretty maybe I'll put the lapis lazuli ink in this one and do that review review them together yeah, it's just a good feeling pen for me. I really like it. <coughs> Excuse me, chat. It's got these little hints of purple and green in there too that you can barely see. Um, yeah, and I love the nib. The nib change that they made was everything. That made every difference in the world for me in Monte Grappa because I've always liked the designs of the pens. <coughs> but these Yovo nibs are, they're the ticket. So this is just a good shape of a pen. Um, what nib did I get on here? I guess I could look. 
Can I get this an extra fine? Well, no, I ordered it, so I should know. It's just not good lighting in here. Yeah, extra fine. Nice. I will ink this up when I get home too. That's for me. Uh, if any, any of the, if if Sarah's watching, I'm keeping this one. This one's for me. I'll keep this one. I got to ink it up with one of these new inks. So I guess I'll probably keep the blue for myself, then ship all the rest out to the to the review team. We've been a little bit short on new stuff recently, so I had to get get ordering. So uh, that's it. This is um this is a good batch of stuff to tide tide us over for a while. All right, Sam. Go do it. Go to work. <clears throat> so, hmm. I'll probably keep the basic Kobe blue ink. Good morning, Tessa. I'll send out both the standard binderies, the Aurora, the Sushi. Maybe I do the Aurora too, since I'm the orange expert. Send out the Kiyo no Oto and send out the Sushi. We'll have to figure out who gets here. Good morning, Aurelius. You're late. All right, Aurelius is here. We can end now. Bye, everyone. Just kidding. <clears throat> Not ready to end yet. All right. So, yeah, that's a good batch of stuff. Good batch of stuff. Yeah, sleeping isn't so bad, even supposing. I like you. Know, if you're like super dope, I'm, I'm glad you're here. Like, I'm totally glad you're here. But you can always catch it on YouTube afterwards if you like, you know, really miss me and, and hear us being stupid. Um, good morning. But uh, I'm in no. Oh my gosh. I got to show you all this. See if it'll focus. Handsome boy modeling school this morning. There's Toby with a big blue bow tie. Fluff master. <clears throat> so we did make a run to the uh, to the to the paw spa this morning. They are uh, taking really good precautions. Um, they have, uh, they don't let you come inside. They come out in full scrubs and masks and get your dog from the car and take them back in and go to town on them. So that was good. So we were comfortable doing that today. So yeah, that was Toby. Toby getting done did up. So basically got him shaved. So we might not have to be able to take him out back for a couple months now. So we just, uh, we just said zap it off, all of it off. So he looks good. Any updates on my 849? So I had to resend the artwork to get, um, they put the text in uh, underneath the logo, like the subtext, uh, there are worse addictions, right? So I had to redo the artwork. They're resending it for Karen Dash to make the um, file to print. So once I see that, I'll share it and then I'll probably just approve it because it looked good other than just wanting to clean up the I just wanted to say the pen addict and have the logo on it, not the sub, not the subheader on there. I thought that was that's too much for that small of a pen. So yeah, um, I hope to have that this week. They were pretty. They did a pretty quick turnaround last time. I hope I see that this week. Um, I did get feedback on the Retro Fifty One. They are having to move some of the finials around, um, and I'll share the the updated version because one with the Retro Fifty Ones. The taper down here, they have to consider the taper, what artwork goes here. So they didn't like how some of the highly detailed finials that were down here were handling the taper. So they just switched them down to some little less detailed ones at the bottom. Like you wouldn't know, um, you wouldn't know any difference, you know, but I am going to share the, share the thing. Got one of the Kakuyo notebooks. Thank you so much. I'm glad you like it. Switch from the phone and I was talking about Toby. Wow, that's super late. Yeah, you never know how these things, um, uh, the timing and the delays between all that stuff. So yeah, we're still working. So the factory that makes them now has the design enough to be looking at it and say, hey, here's what's going to happen when we make it. 
So we're pretty far along in that like the actual factory now has our artwork and Retro 51's artwork to come back and say, let's make these adjustments because we're having a tough time uh, with this taper part of the sample. So that means we're, we're progressing pretty well, honestly. That means, you know, hopefully we'll have, well, we've made this adjustment, resubmitted it. They have to get my approval to resubmit the artwork. I have to sign just on and on and on and on. <clears throat> so now it's back on them. I signed off on it. So now they'll try it again and see what it looks like. And if they're happy with that, then I'll get a physical pen uh, to, to test for myself and see what it looks like. And we can do some more pictures and things like that. So that'll be cool. I look forward to that. That should be great. <clears throat> so we got some new stationery to play with. I have this point twenty eight jet stream. I'll take some pictures of. I have this Montegrappa Elmo. I'll take some pictures of. Ink it up with the new ink, probably the blue. I'm thinking. Get some of this stuff shipped out to the review crew. So pen addict wise, we're moving along pretty well. Um, you know, pen addict work. It was going to go on regardless, right? Like I'm not directly affected my day to day so we're just going to keep doing things like we normally do i'd like to do more i'm a my struggles at home like on the weekend or like i would like to do more for the pen addict community i'm also like the mental overhead of just life like doesn't allow me to do more so like right now i'm not going to do more like i'm i'm not tapped out of like the amount of work i can do i'm a little tapped out mentally <clears throat> um this is Howler Brothers official unofficial shirt sponsor of the Pen Addict. I need Howler Brothers if you're listening, we need to work a deal out sponsorship. Um so, you know, maybe I'll eventually can work in some more, but I'm doing more with like the podcast and um like the members podcast and member stuff and <clears throat> just trying to really really uh do well with that knock is lagging big time obviously like this is a pretty pretty down time for knock so that's why we're going to do a coupon this afternoon but you know it's i'm not expecting much from that it's just something nice to do um projects are going good karen dash is going good we just talked about that in the retro 51 those are going good so it's pretty status quo um stuff Oh, definitely let me know how you like those, Mary. And I'm always open to suggestions and comments. I guess I have three of them released now. I'll have the fourth one released this week. And then I'm recording one today, one tomorrow, and one Thursday. So I'm good for like at least the next month or so, if not more. And then I have a bunch more scheduled next week. So, But if y'all have other things you'd like to see from me, um that like i could work on and kind of put in just in the in the log of ideas um besides andrew i already have all of your lists andrew you don't get to send me anything else um if y'all have ideas of things you want to see things you want me to work on ideas that you have that you'd like me to explore more i'm all ears i'm always open to um trying to trying to expand and, and just do more things like <clears throat> it's i'm constantly you know working on those things and it's it's fun to do so you know, we can we can check them off here and there. I have so many ideas and and so little like time to 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 do them. So, but I can always squeeze in something a little bit here and there. So it's good, it's good. But we're gonna keep on with the pen attic. I promise, one of these days, I'm gonna do more lengthy Twitch streams. You know, you're sick of me saying this by now, but there is a time. <laughs> where I will do longer Twitch streams, I promise. Today is not that day. Thursday is not that day. Maybe this weekend we jump on and play Animal Crossing. Um, that might be a thing. Um, you know, maybe next week. I don't know what my schedule looks like next Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, probably busy as usual. Like every Tuesday and Thursday, I think I'm going to get time to long stream. And uh, every Tuesday and Thursday, I'm always just packed with work. Like my afternoons on Tuesday or Thursday. Since I do this in the morning, I push everything to the afternoon and therefore don't have the additional additional time. I'm just like 
<clears throat> you know, it's a little too much. What are the current requirements for friends of the show guest? Google Chrome browser on a computer that you can plug some type of headphones into. And we don't care. I don't care what the headphones are, but it has to be an external microphone, right? It has to be your not recording into the computer's microphone. Animal Crossing is fun. There aren't any, Mike, there aren't any pandemics yet. You know, I'm traveling to different islands. I'm raising their islands completely. I'm bringing back fruits and flowers that are not going through customs. I could be the problem here, Mike. Let's be honest. I could be the carrier. Like, Dodo Airlines, they're not checking my bags when I come back. Like, you know. So what am I really bringing home with me? Like a year from now, what is this island going to look like? Do I need to start making masks now and have like prepper closets? Like, I think there's some, I think there's some real issues in the back end of animal, the Animal Crossing lore. Like, what are we actually doing here? I think Tom Nook is possibly running a criminal enterprise, um, laundering money somehow. I am, I am like the Lorax is going to come after me. Like I'm chopping down all the trees, just freaking raiding these islands, not coming back with a stitch of resources on them. Overfished, over, over planted, you know, what is going on out there? And I'm recruiting new, I'm recruiting new friends to my island. What am I starting a cult? Like, are we going to, is there like a Kool-Aid recipe coming out? Like I've got coconuts. We can make some fancy juice. And I have all these new recruits coming. What is really going on in Animal Crossing? Like, there's a lot going on. <laughs> I can't sleep at night because I'm overthinking uh, Animal Crossing. Tom Nook, man. Dude's crooked. I'm telling you. That guy's crooked. Oh, so I, the only thing I've seen, uh, Alexander, is like the Tarantula Island. I did catch, uh, I caught a Tarantula last night. That was my first one. Late stage capitalism crossing, right? I'm thoroughly enjoying Animal Crossing, though. It, it's really fun. This is the first time I've ever played it. All right, get a pet. Go do homeschool stuff. Yeah, I got to go home and figure out what's going on with our homeschoolers. I've only seen one Tarantula, and I caught him. Um... So I'm gonna turn him into the museum today. My museum should be there um, whenever I log into it. I don't know when I'll have time to log into it. Um, yeah, where does Nook get all of his furniture? It's a racket. <laughs> they chase you. I've only seen one and I've been to a few islands. I got a bamboo island last night. Just bought that blue grappa. You're in trouble. Yeah, it's good stuff. That's good stuff. Um, yeah, I got a bamboo island last night, so I, I just I shredded that thing. Felt dirty about it. It had uh, bamboo, and I, I'm on a peach island, and the island before that was uh, cherries. So it's just like, <laughs> raided them all. I didn't bring any cherry trees back to plant, though, so I didn't realize that I was supposed to do that. Whoops. We'll get another one now. So, yeah, if we get an Animal Crossing stream this weekend, it's going to be on. There's going to be some destruction. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of ethical and moral moral quandaries in Animal Crossing, but those those raccoon trash pandas don't seem to care. They're just like, give me some money. Oh, I've got plenty of cherries. I need a cherry tree to plant. The Howler website looks like what I imagine it calls it looks like probably. <laughs> <laughs> dig a hole and put a cherry in it oh so i can just i can just put the cherry in the hole okay see i'm still learning all this okay well i have i saved all my cherries okay but then good like i've replanted some of my peach trees and i'm gonna make like a fruit garden okay that's no problem we got all the time in the world don't we mike um mike do you want do you want um do you, I'm i'm ending now i was just about to ask you do you want to raid today because I'm not staying online today. I'm not staying online today or Thursday. Stardew Valley is awesome. 
Stardew Valley, I felt like I got to the end because I didn't really want to do the uh, uh, relationship stuff. So, like, I built a greenhouse, got all my uh, special fruit trees. Like, I had, like, I was making, like, serious bank. I got way far down in the mines. I was like, I just did everything but the relationship stuff. Even supposing, just wait till I do an Animal Crossing stream. We'll see if we can do that this weekend. That will be a blast. I am I am anxious to get that set up, so I'll probably try to do that this weekend. I got to just figure out what my wiring situation is to get the switch up and running on um, on stream, but it should be pretty easy. Since I already have a PlayStation plugged in, I can probably just bring the cradle over, swap the cables around, and we'll be good to go. It's gonna be good. So yeah, we'll just hang out for a few minutes. Mike's gonna get set up. I'm gonna send y'all over, over to Mike. When y'all can hang out, talk more pens, maybe play some more games. This is like the Goose game, but way more intense. Goose is just intense on his own. This game is, Animal Crossing is like a, a busy work game, like Sims busy work with adorable animals and adorable outfits. So I got my, my character, I haven't bought any like clothes or furniture, or all that stuff yet. And, uh, I was at the ocean last night and there was a shirt laying there. I was like, Oh, this is a cool shirt. I'm gonna wear this. And I was like, Hey Tyler, look at my new shirt. And he's like, yeah, that's the one I threw down out of my bag. That was my starter shirt. I was like, damn it. <laughs> so my kids and I share an Island, which is kind of a train wreck, but that's how Nintendo, it's a Nintendo racket. Nintendo is takes after Tom Nook. It's all a racket. You can't have a separate Island for your separate accounts. <clears throat> oh, I should get up my screen. It's a life sim. Yeah, that's pretty fair. Let me get ready to send y'all over to Mike by <laughs> finding the correct panel to do it in. All right, cool. We are there. I need to pause my own video over that thing. Ooh, did I? I didn't do anything in real life, did I? I hit something on my second screen. We still here? <clears throat> All right, so y'all's job is to let me know if there's other stuff you want me to do. Not that I'm going to do them, but I need a list of things to have ideas from. All right, see so you even supposing... We need ideas. If you reset, a character named Mr. Resetti pops up and berates you for cheating. Nice. I'm not going to do any of the time the time warp stuff. I'm, I don't care that much. I just want to play. It's fun. But that is, that is pretty funny. They seem to have it pretty well covered, don't they? Um, look on my Instagram later. I'll take a picture of a couple of these pens. I got some really good stuff today. I'm pretty happy with this batch of small batch of goods. <clears throat> so I mean, it's a big batch. Don't get me wrong. This is a big batch of goods, but uh, size wise, a lot of good stuff. <clears throat> but um. Hit me up on Twitter or email me with your ideas, like about creating stuff. I got a little time, but most mostly I want to do. Um, keep a list. I like I keep a running list if I need like new ideas of stuff to to try. So see y'all. See you, Thunder Viking. See you, Schmevelin. We'll be back on Thursday. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to do on Thursday yet. I need to think about that. See if we have like get like a game plan for something on Thursday. Because that will definitely be a short stream on Thursday. Because I'm interviewing Andrew at 1. Um, Alright, mic's up. I'm going to send you all over there in a second. But um, that's it for me today. Um, thanks for hanging out. This is really fun. It uh, clears my head for the time that I'm in here. Which is always a good thing. And I just enjoy talking stationary with y'all. So I promise we're going to do it, do more Twitch streams, and we can talk more stationary. 
and uh, we'll get through this. Bye. Oh, I shouldn't say bye yet before I hit the raid button. So let's do the raid, and then I can say bye when I hit send. Because <laughs> then you just see me um, see me typing, but I can still talk while I'm typing. All right, now bye, because I'm sending you. Bye. Oh, wait. Rate right, seven, six, five. So it's not bye yet. Four, three, two, one. Right now. All right, bye.